Greetings everyone, my name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload and watch 120 FPS videos on YouTube. For this you will need a software or camera capable of recording at 120 FPS, a editing software and to watch it a 120Hz or higher refresh rate monitor, because you won't be able to see the difference with a 60Hz standard monitor, just to let you know. Okay, so getting started you'll need to open up your software and get ready to record some footage. If you already have your 120fps footage recorded, you can go ahead and skip this step. I'm using DxDory to record 120fps at 1920x1080 resolution. The video codec I use for this is UTVideo YUV420BT.601. I'll leave that link down below in the description for you to download. On the advanced options, I have same as number of logical processors box checked, and finally the predict left option ticked. It has a good mix between quality and low file size, while having virtually zero impact on performance in the game you're playing. For the DX Story settings, make sure you have four CPU processing on, throw priority to high, and check use all logical processors. This will make the program use all of the cores in your CPU. Going back to the video options, make sure the frame rate is changed from 30 or 60 to 120, AVI format is selected, and down at the bottom right you have a standard 16x9 resolution entered in there. I would recommend recording at 1920x1080, but if your recording comes out choppy and inconsistent, then step this down to 1280x720 because the likelihood is your drive just isn't quick enough to write 1080p at 120 frames per second. We need to set up a place for you to store your recordings. The best place to store them is on your fastest drive in your computer. If you have an SSD, store it on your fastest one. A regular hard drive likely won't be fast enough to record at such a high frame rate. Click on the plus folder icon and locate the destination you want to save your videos in. Then if you click that little clock icon on the left and then click run, it will show you how fast your hard drive is. Anything above 500 megabytes a second should be good, but the credit we're using will really help on those slower drives, so give it a go even if you get under that. I have my recording saved to a RAID 0 dual SSD array, which is why my speeds are quite high. Add an audio device, being the one you're currently listening to, and go ahead and record some footage. I've already recorded some 120fps footage in Battlefield 1. You can check this by right clicking on the video file and clicking properties, migrating to the details tab and then it will tell you right there. It works exactly the same with GoPro footage or camera footage, whatever. As long as it's a 120fps video file, you'll be fine. Now go ahead and load up your editing software. The one I'm using is Adobe Premiere Pro, but you can use another one like Sony Vegas. Start a new project which we'll name 120fps video on YouTube, and click OK. To import, go to the folder your footage is located in, then click and drag it into the project bin. Next, right click on the video file and click New Sequence from Clip to copy the exact same settings on our video file into a new sequence. Alternatively, you can go ahead and manually create one under the H.264 codec if you're uploading it to YouTube. Now our clip is on the timeline, we'll just resize it so we don't have to render the whole lot, and then right click and click on speed and duration, set this to 50%. If you're on Sony Vegas and you do this, your audio may sound roboty when you play it back, uh, in which case just make sure you click maintain audio pitch to fix that. On Premiere Pro however, that's not necessary. If you want to do some editing to your clip before you change the speed and render it, then you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure to select every click on your timeline at the end, and then right click and select Nest. This will compile all of your edits and clips into one subsequence, which you can manipulate as if it were a regular video file. Now you can right click, speed and duration, and set it to 50%. To render, go to File and Export and Media. Click Match Source and double the bitrate. You'll notice it says 60fps and, and for some reason you can't change it above that, but remember we have slowed our clip down to half speed. Click export and then upload it to YouTube. Once it has completed uploading and has processed fully, you can view it. Now at 1080p 60fps, everything is still at half speed and the workaround actually comes with the YouTube player itself. Instead of doubling the speed it plays at, the YouTube player will actually double the frame rate it plays at. So when you go to the player options, video speed and change it to 2 times speed, it will play at 120fps in regular speed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you upload and watch 120fps video on YouTube. Do take note, again, you will need a 120Hz monitor to watch it at 120fps. But anyway guys, if you like this video then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face and I will see you guys in the next one. Terra.